Hey, how's it going everyone? Outlaw client here. Xbox and PS5 have been bombarding us with advertisements for their new consoles. More recently, we've had the Xbox uh, game reveals and also the PS5 or the PS5 reveal. And joining me here today, I have a, a, fe a fellow console connoisseur and a good friend of mine, Taku Star. Uh, Taku Star, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi guys, my name's Taku Star. Um, uh, Outlaw client's a uh, long time friend. Um, yeah, I love video games and anime, so I um, thought uh, with the new console generation coming, I thought it'd be a nice way to, you know, sort of uh, get me an outlaw client into um, what's going on in the industry. So um, nice to meet you guys. Nice, yeah, nice. And uh, I think it's worth mentioning as well, I know you guys probably don't know too much about our backgrounds, but I'm uh, last generation or the past few generations, I've been more of an Xbox guy and uh, Taku Star is more of a PS5 guy, so... You have to excuse me if I have my uh, biased uh, biased yeah. thoughts, but again, I'm trying my best to keep things as uh, as unbiased as possible. So anyway, I'm just going to be watching a bit of the footage of the games in the background as well, just to refresh our memories. You know, it's quite a while ago. Um, we're actually recording this on like the 10th of August, so the the actual reveal was like a good month or so ago now, so maybe even longer. But anyways. So uh, starting things off with the PS5 reveal, um, of course we had the past hype reveal trailer, Sony going through their history and everything, that was pretty cool. But um, moving straight on to the games, we started with GTA 5, aka the new Skyrim, because this game just refuses to die. It's on like, it's been on every console since Xbox 360, uh, Xbox 360, PS3, of course, PS4 and Xbox One, and now it will be on PS5. Uh, kind of an odd game to start the showcase on, um, in my opinion. But I mean, I don't know. What do you What do you think, T Taku? Uh, yeah, no, I think um, they're squeezing the life out of that game. Yeah. I mean, it's, it came out on what uh, Xbox 360 and PS4. Yeah. So yeah. It's managed to survive one console generation and a bit of the one before. So, um, and now it's coming to PS5. Exactly, yeah. And, and, the, and the Xbox, the new Xbox. So, um, yeah, man, Rockstar just squeezing the life out of that game. And um, it's the funny thing is, um, people still make they still make a lot of content for it. On yeah. Xbox. It just goes to show you how um, you know, uh, games and services are, are going to be like a thing going forward for uh, for us, I guess. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And I just want to say, um, I'm taking a quick look at it again. I want to double check to see if it's like a definitive edition or something. But it seems like it's, uh, I believe it includes all the DLC from the previous uh, GTA. But it's saying that PS5 owners will get a GTA Online free at launch in 2021. So I guess if you guys haven't played GTA 5, and honestly, I'm actually part of that. I'm part of that um, statistic as well. I'm one of the guys, one of the two people that haven't played GTA 5. But maybe I'd pick it up. I, I don't know. Like I said, it's great for people that haven't played it but i can imagine at this point most gamers have probably played the life out of this game already but um yeah still still quite incredible that this game is going and it's still a bestseller as well um do you have anything else to add to gta i'm not really uh not really yeah no. i think of all these yeah. hype hype ps5 announcements i think gta is the last thing that i'd be thinking about right now but anyway um, so they had a little, a uh, little uh, bit of Jim Ryan, I believe, on the, the CEO. Um, was it Sony CEO? He was talking a bit to us uh, before the next game reveal. Um, didn't say too much that I was interested in, but we didn't really add too much else to what we all like things that we already know anyway. But anyway, I'm just going to move on to the next game. So. Sony started off very strong with the Spider-Man Miles Morales tease. Now they didn't show too much. We got a glimpse of uh, Spider-Man's glorious arm. We got uh, we got to see uh, Miles's face, a little bit of his face as well. But um, again, Spider-Man PS4 was a huge game, a really, really, um, really successful game. Huge fan favorite, and of course, uh, people were definitely looking to get some more content out of that game. Now. I have to admit, the thing is, is that this wasn't, it's not actually like a brand new game, which I was kind of confused at first, but um, they later revealed that this is more like an expansion. It's like, it's like a remastered version of the original game, but then an expansion of um, Spider-Man PS4. I don't know, did you did you ever get to try this one out, uh, Taku Star? Or yeah, did yeah you... I actually managed to get a free copy from oh, uh, nice. one of my friends. 
Ah, nice, um, nice. Yeah. <laughs> not bad, not so, bad. But I didn't, I didn't finish the game though. But um, yeah, like I, it was, a, it was a really well crafted game. Had a lot of fun with it. Um, so um, yeah, I'd imagine people who played the the, the first, well, the initial one, the game, probably really looking forward to this. So obviously, it was a bit disappointing knowing that it's just an expansion pack. Yeah. Looking at it, you think oh, it's a new game, but um, mm. you know, uh, Miles Morales is one of my favorite, sp- uh, one of my favorite Spider-Man characters mm. or iterations. So um, yeah. yeah, this is this is something because after watching the movie that came out, uh, what was it called? The movie oh, the Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, that was a great Into one. Like yeah. one of my fa- one of my all-time favorite animated films. Yeah. So I'm um, just I've been um, yeah just off the hype of that movie and then. Having Miles Morales uh, in a, in a, uh, a sequel of some sort is um, yes, uh, interesting. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was pretty cool. I actually have to admit, they did show a little bit of a CGI trailer after that After that as well. Um, I'm just re-watching it now, like Miles jumping uh, down the building and uh, pretty much just, um, you know, doing Spider-Man things. Does what a Spider-Man, yeah. does what a spider does, of course. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, again, not too much, we didn't get to see any gameplay, that was a bit of a, a bit, a bit um, unfortunate, but it's a huge game, holiday 2020, so yeah. it'll be in our hands yeah, very, very soon. Yeah, yeah. Even and like, that's coming out this year, I thought that was that's, quite amazing as well. That's what I'm saying, yeah, that's yeah. A, like, that's, a, that's another one they've got in the bag for um, yeah. launch. Yeah, yeah, another huge, uh, huge launch game. I'm sure that'll be a heavy hitter. And again, I have to admit, I because I was an Xbox, uh, Xbox One guy, I kind of missed out on Spider-Man PS4. So that's definitely a game that I'll be picking up since they said that the rest of it is remastered. So yeah, huge title for me. Um, looking forward to it. I can't really say too much else. Definitely a game that I wanted to wanted to play. And Sony started off very strong with their first true PS5 game reveal. Um, so next up we have Gran Turismo, just the showcase. Um, I'm not a huge uh, c- car racing guy, but I have to admit, you know, the, the they like whenever they have the car showcases. And spoiler alert, guys, you'll you'll see me talking about this a lot during the Xbox presentation as well. But um, with Gran Turismo, they always show off their like car racing simulators first. And again, while I'm not a huge guy, I'm not hugely into the gameplay. They always like they always look pretty good. It always pushes the or it seems to push the consoles graphics to the limits. Um, yeah. I don't know. What do you what do you think, Taku Star? You uh, yeah, I mean, um, I haven't played a Gran Turismo game probably since I think the third one or the second one. Oh yeah. Because I used to really like the music and stuff. I don't know if it's still the same composer after all these years, but um. Yeah, with a lot of um, racing games that get released, they're, they're, they're more they're like when they get uh, shown to us, they're, they're supposed to show off the capabilities of the machine. So um, yeah. I think yeah, Gran, Gran Turismo 7, um, the announcement trailer managed to uh, it done what it was supposed to do. So I'd imagine um, any Gran Turismo fans are uh, looking forward to, to it. I mean, obviously, like what you were saying, me and you aren't really big yeah. fans of like, driving simulators, we're more we like kart races and stuff like that. So. Um, mm. Regardless, for, for, uh, in terms of how it looks, it's a gorgeous looking game. So, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree as well. I agree. I, I don't have too much else to add. Uh, looks nice. I'm sorry, guys. You won't hear too much out of us. We're not a ra- we're not racing sim guys, but yeah. we do think it looks pretty. So, I can't I can't argue with it there. Um, and also, by the way, guys, um, of course, we won't be talking about too. We won't be spending too long on each of the games because this. Uh, this presentation was very, very long. I mean, uh, how long was it? Like nearly two hours long. Two so hours, yeah, a yeah. lot of games to cover. So many games, so little time. So we won't be spending too much time, but kind of just like a brief overview on all the different games. Yeah. So next up, we have definitely a heavy hitter here and probably one of Sony's uh, biggest games. We have uh, Ratchet and Clank, a uh, Rift, Rift Apart. Yeah. Now... Again, guys, you're going to be hearing this a lot from me because, as I said, I'm more of an Xbox guy, uh, Xbox and Nintendo guy. I haven't had a PlayStation console since PS1, um, but I haven't, unfortunately, since I haven't had one since PS1, I haven't really played much of the Ratchet and Clank series. But this game looked phenomenal. Like this was pretty much the game that showed off most of the PlayStation's capabilities. It showed off the, the you know going between the different dimensions. Um, well, actually, let me let me do a quick overview of the trailer. So it starts off with Ratchet in like an alien world, like always, and then after, of course, he's like trying to escape from the enemies. I don't I don't know if the enemies have a certain names. I'm sorry, Ratchet and Clank fans, please don't kill me. But um, it looks like the he's running. Uh, Ratchet's running away from the enemies, and he like jumps through portals. And really, they just show 
that the PS5 is able to like, and again, this is all in-game stuff. It's just showing how the PS5 will be able to like load all these different environments so quickly. Um, and of course, this is the first game that they really well. They showed a bit of Grand, uh, a bit of um, Gran Turismo gameplay as well, but Ratchet and Clank really went into the most uh, depth of its detail, um, the most detail with its uh, gameplay. So looking pretty good so far, and I'm sure that Ratchet and Clank fans will be pretty happy, uh, happy with what they've seen so far. Um, Takusa, you, you, have you got any experience with the uh, Ratchet and Clank series? Or? Uh, back on the PS2, I, I played um, I think the second one, but I, even the one that came out on PS4, I was meant to get my hands on it, but unfortunately, I just didn't get to it. But uh, um, yeah, yeah, this one, like this one, like, it, it definitely looks amazing. Even the last one that came out on PS4 as well looked amazing. So um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I called the particle, particle effects that were happening. Exactly. And, yeah, the particle effects. I didn't even talk yeah, about that. But, it's yeah. building so much on the on the, on the screen, and um, it's just amazing to see um, what the developers have been doing with the game. So um, yeah, it's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Yeah, uh, and obviously since I haven't played the Russian and Clank game, and obviously you know me, I love platformers. So mm. Mm. yes, yeah. yes, of course. Well, both of us, both of us, really, both love those platformers. Yeah. Um, actually, another thing to add is why well, at the end of the trailer there was like a. A huge shock reveal. I guess it's kind of like um, Ratchet in a different alternate universe version. I don't know. It's like a female version of him. Um, yeah, I think that's. I think it's a brand new character. Um, yeah, I don't think she's appeared in any of the other games. I mean, I haven't played through all the other games, but I've seen a bit of gameplay in most of them. So I've got an idea of Ratchet and Clank. But um, yeah, no, looks really good so far. I haven't really got too much else to add, um, or no real negatives. I guess maybe. Maybe I wanted to see a bit more, but yeah, as you said, the particle effects looked great. Uh, I think YouTube, or if you watched it on YouTube, it kind of decreased the quality of it a bit, but yeah, it still looks really yeah. good. I'm, sh I'm sure it will look much better um, up close as well. But yeah, so far, so good. Uh, decent impressions. And of course, yeah, a bit after it just has a few of the Insomniac developers talking a bit about it. Oh man, I'm waiting for my Sunset Overdrive here on Xbox, but um, <laughs> I know that's that, I know Sunset Overdrive. I know that's not happening now since that's Insomniac happening. have been bought. Yeah, they've been bought out by PlayStation and, and by Sony. So yeah, I can I can kiss those dreams goodbye. But um, no, overall, thumbs up from me. Uh, Taku Star, what do you think? A thumbs up? Yeah, that sounds, definitely thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In my top top three games that they, well, top five games that they showed up. In Definitely. The, um, so, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Definitely, and of course, yeah, they they um, followed it up with a yeah, they followed it up with a decent decent amount of gameplay. Actually, I'm just double checking here. Yeah, it has ratchet with that whip thing, like pulling between the dimensions and stuff. But yeah, really good so far. I liked yeah. I liked what I saw. Okay. Anyway, so moving on to the next game, there was Project Athia or Project Athia Tease. Project Athia, yeah. Yeah, Project Athia. Yeah. I don't know how to. Um, my pronunciations are terrible, but uh, we didn't. I didn't. I didn't know quite what was going on. There was like a giant dragon there, and uh, and they mentioned that this was an exclusive, a PlayStation Five exclusive game. Uh, it looked it looked pretty impressive. I mean, it was a very short. I think it was like what twenty seconds in total, like a twenty second tease or something. Um, didn't get much screen time, but it looked pretty good. Um, again, I didn't get to see too much gameplay. I kind of wanted to see what it was all about. I don't know if it's going to be like an RPG or action adventure game. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't get too much from the from the trailer. Oh, also, this was like a Square Enix game, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a Square Enix game. So, yeah, when I saw it, I thought, um, uh, Square Enix nowadays, they, they don't really make, um, they're not really making turn-based RPGs. They're yeah. not making more action-based RPGs. Uh, so, yeah, I'd imagine this game's going to be a, a action RPG similar to how the, uh, the last Two Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy VII Remake and Final Fantasy XV, I think. One 15, yeah. That was more of an action one, uh, wasn't they, it? Yeah. Yeah, they've been, they've been action games. And obviously this is, I don't know if this was made by their Japanese devs or um, or their, West, their Western devs, because uh, it had, a, it had a, like a Dark Souls X vibe. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what I felt like when I saw the dragon especially. Yeah, so uh, I remember reading something that um, they've actually got a, a writer like a, a, I don't want to say an award winning, but like a, ah. a writer, he's waiting for like a movie and stuff. Oh, right. oh, so they've got a proper, okay then. This is this is actually so, news yeah. to me as well, guys. I'm not too, yeah. I don't know too much about this game, but so, um, it's, yeah, it sounds, it sounds good so far. So far, so good. Um, 
But at the end of the day, guys, this is a Square Enix, a Square, a Square Enix um, advertised game for a base console launch. So, in other words, we're not going to see this come out this decade. I'm just sorry. That's how it is with Square Enix. These games <laughs> yeah. never come out. So, but um, no jokes, jo- jokes aside, and, and staying optimistic. Um, it looks all right. It looks all right. But again, I would have liked, yeah, loved to see. Exactly, yeah, and even like just gameplay instead of just like the um, cinematic stuff, which um, again, spoiler alert, guys, that's going to be another thing you're going to hear from me quite a bit throughout this presentation. Um, but again, it looked all right from what I saw, so can't really say too much on it right now. Yeah, I think yeah, I was saying that the writer for the game he worked on Star Wars Rogue One. Ah, oh, right, 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 okay. Yeah, so. I'm guessing for Star Wars fans, I don't know. I don't yeah. know if Star Wars fans, but I don't know if that guy is like a good writer or not. So yeah, you, I mean, yeah, if you could share it with us, that would be awesome. I mean, I'm not a huge, huge Star Wars guy, but I have seen Rogue One, and I kind of, I quite enjoyed Rogue One. Um, so I mean, I. Again, like you said, we'd have to we'd have to consult the Star Wars fans, the experts, to see what they think yeah. of Rogue One compared to the rest of the Star Wars films. But for me personally, it wasn't too bad. So if it's anything like Rogue One, of course, not just a carbon copy, one on one remake story. But I mean, if it if if the writing is similar to that, then I can imagine it will be a decent experience. All right, um, I, I honestly tried to squeeze as much as I could out of that one because the, we didn't see too much of that project. I'm squeezing it as much as Rockstar's squeezing out GTA. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying my best here. Anyway, uh, next up we have Stray, a tease, uh, tease from a game called, I think, yeah, it's just called Stray. So, starts off with a cat walking through the street and the robots were kind of, uh, well, actually, at this point, the name of the game hasn't been announced, so we're kind of just wondering who on earth is the protagonist here. And then, of course, we get to the end of the trailer or close to the end of the trailer where we see the cat jump up onto the uh, onto the rooftops. And uh, the name Stray comes out, start, comes on top, and then of course at that point we know that we know exactly who's going to be the main character there. Um, once again, just a nice little short cinematic trailer. Can't really say too much about the game. Um, I mean, playing as a cat already gets extra points from me, so there's that. But I don't know, Taku Star, what do you, what do you think? Any any thoughts on this uh, one? Uh, I, yes, <laughs> I didn't really care about this one. Yeah, yeah. I can understand. I mean, for all the cat lovers, I can definitely understand why they you know, they're hyped. But yeah, it was just uh, it's just a it was just a, oh okay, the game was cool. Mm. Uh, what's next? Yeah, I mean, as I, as I said, I am a cat fan, so you know, any any games with cats in the ma- as the main character, it's gonna get more points for me. But once again, I'm gonna cat. need. <laughs> Even big the cat. Even oh okay, I wouldn't go that far. All right, that, yeah. those were your words, not mine. Um, yeah. But um, no, no. Um, I like the cat, but of course, once again, I need to see a bit more gameplay. I can't really say too much else there. Um, okay, next up, moving on. Let me double check. What have we got? Oh, there was a CEO, another CEO. I think it was Herman Holster. He was talking a bit about the. Pretty much just a lot of these developers are stating what we already know, saying how they, they're going to have a rich lineup of games and so on. But I mean, we, we, we're, the, we're the viewers here. We're going to watch the games and we're going to make that make that decision ourselves, of course. Um, so next up, we had Returnal, I think it's called. Is that Returnal? A trailer for a game called yeah. Returnal? Yeah. Um, do you know too much what's going on? I'm looking over it again now. It's uh, like a woman in a in a space suit. Um, I don't know what to think of this one. It looks very fast paced. I'm seeing like bullets flying everywhere. Uh, it's like an alien world or something. So can't, I, I don't know exactly what it's about, but I mean, we're, getting, we're seeing some shooters and shooting in there. So I think it's safe to say that this is going to be like a third person shooter, possibly adventure game. I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a third person shooter. And, um... The, um, the devs who actually who are developing this game are House Marky, so they've previously done a Resil Gun, which was like one of my favourite um, games earlier in the PS4's life cycle. Oh, nice. Uh, so uh, yeah, so um, they tend to do a lot of like a lot of games where parts of are just flying around on the um, on the screen. So this looks the same. This return also, um, yeah. Uh, oh nice, yeah. That as well. Yeah, it sounds like something that might might be able to like fully show off what the PS5 is capable of, or at least pushing its graphics to the limits. Well, as much yeah. as they can for a early developed game. I know, of course, it gets better throughout, you know, further throughout its life cycle. But um, 
yeah, no, it looks like it will be a spectacle. Quite an interesting setting as well. Okay, so after Returnal, oh, actually, I don't know. Am, am I rushing through this too quickly? Do you have? I mean, I, I personally don't have anything else to say. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a perfect one because it's like. We describe what we saw on the screen, so yeah, yeah. Really more <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not really, they're not really giving us uh, much space to talk about anything else. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying there. Anyway, um, so after Returnal, we had another um, PlayStation or a Sony, um, another Sony mascot or Sony franchise, which is um, very well respected by fans, and that is uh, Sackboy: A Big Adventure. So. All I'm going to say is Super Mario 3D World. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I, honestly, <laughs> once I started watching this, well, I mean, I saw Sackboy at, the, at, at first, of course, and I thought, oh, is it going to be like another? Because I know the Little Big Planet games are like a lot of um, um, creating stuff and everything like that. But the moment I started to see that boy running towards, like, running away from the screen and adventures and stuff, I just thought of like Super Mario and stuff like that. So. I'm just. I was just waiting for Sackboy to grab the cat suit power up. That's all I was gonna say. But um, <laughs> no, I mean, it, it, look, it looks decent. It's not. Nothing really blew me away. I think it. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just looking again at some of the gameplay. Um, it got a bit of a variety in the locations. There's like a, a snow world, um, like a sand kind of world. I see like cacti and stuff like that. But nothing really blew me away. It looks like a solid platformer though. And I'm sure little big planet fans will be happy to see Sackboy returning. Oh, and of course, there's like uh, some multiplayer there as well. Um, yeah, but other than that, it looks like a solid platformer. As I said, nothing really blew me away. There's nothing about the sneaky, uh, nothing that was shouting at me saying you got to buy this game as soon as it comes out. But um, yeah, yeah. No. yeah, it's nothing we haven't seen. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, well, I mean, uh, yeah, it looks like a solid experience, but it's. We've seen, um, you know, we've seen a lot of platform, played a lot of platforms over the years, and yeah, this is um, unfortunately for, for for me and you anyway, it's nothing we haven't played before. So yeah, yeah. I'd imagine for for someone for kids or whatnot, this is like a if if it's launching this year, then it's like a good game, to, you know, to keep them uh, to keep them uh, uh, in a in a in a good position at this Christmas for the kids. Yeah, and I guess as well, like you said, they they've just got more variety, so they've got a platformer there to rival. Um, like the you know any new Mario game that Nintendo wants to launch later this year, so at least they can say they're covering a wide range of different uh, genres. And yeah, actually, I was just going to mention as well. I watched a bit more of the gameplay, and it's showing that it's uh, up to four players. So, yeah. you can grab... huh? Sorry, carry on. Carry on. Oh no, 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 no! I was just going to say, I, it's um, yeah, no. So you can grab all your friends and you know have have a full a full party, a, a sack boy big adventure party if you want. I, I don't know, but. Um, yeah, so what were you going to say before? I was going to say, I wish they announced NAC 3, that would have been... Oh, NAC 3, that would have destroyed it, nah, NAC 3 would have been... Yeah. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, Mario, Nintendo would have been scared there, they probably, nah, nah, <laughs> they would have saved it, nah, they have to save the heavy hitters for later, of course, so, I no NAC <laughs> yeah. yeah, but, um, I, you know, jokes aside though, I was half expecting them to announce a NAC, because when they announced the second one, like, honestly, was, was anyone asking for that? Yeah, I was, and I was like, whoa, they announced <laughs> the second one, and I was like, jeez, yeah. what's going on there? Um, no, there's heavy hitters, they got to save it for later, they could, they, yeah, NAC will just be too powerful. Anyway, um, so moving on from Sackboy, we have Destruction All-Star, uh, yeah, Destruction All-Stars. So, mm -hmm. Destruction All Stars is. It kind of seems like a, a Fortnite meets meets uh, Rocket League or something like that. Like it's. Yeah. yeah I, did we see any? Oh yeah. So there was a bit of car gameplay there. Um, we've got our classic characters in all the different uh, all the different costumes and stuff. It's uh, as I said, very Fortnite esque. Um, all the all the companies now are getting in on their battle royale stuff, but. It looks like some high speed fun. Maybe the children will like it. You know, the fact that I'm saying maybe the children will like it now, you, you know, I'm an old man now at this point. Like, <laughs> it's not something that's like super entertaining for me, but it looks colorful and explosive. And I don't know, I don't know. Probably not for me, but it looks half decent. What do you think? Any thoughts? Uh, yeah, I just wasn't a fan of this one. Like, yeah. It just didn't, it didn't hit me, you know, 
where, where it was meant to hit. So, but I'd imagine if you like cars and like this strange stuff and yeah. Battle Royale, then this is this game's right your alley. But yeah, this one didn't really hit me. And if you're Michael, I mean, there's a lot of explosions there. So if you're a Michael Bay fan, maybe it might appeal to them as well. So exactly, you know, appeals to everyone, of course. Um, so let's see. Uh, again, not not really too much else to add to that one. Um, so moving on from that, we have Kenna Bridge of Spirits. So it started off with the developers just giving us an overview of the game. Um, Kenna Bridge of Spirit. Oh yes, yes, actually, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. So uh, starting off with these small small creatures uh first thing it kind of screamed pikmin to me um it looks like this girl is commanding the the uh, small creatures um looks really not like cinematics it kind of looks like a, a pixar film or something it looks pretty interesting but again not too much like gameplay wise i didn't know what expect um i mean it's showing a bit of a bow like she's firing stuff with her stuff using it as a bow and Looks like the main weapon might be able to transform or something, but either way, small, tiny bits of gameplay, but overall, not really too much else to say about this one. Yeah, now visually, it looks amazing. Mm. Really, um, yeah, so, yeah, it, lo- it looks like, you know, like it's definitely a nice looking game. Looking, I'm definitely looking forward to, to it and getting my hands on it. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get it, but um, hopefully, someone gives it to me for free. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it looks it looks amazing. Yeah, can't say no to free. Can't say no to free. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm definitely, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it, even though I might not get it. I don't know, like, <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty looking game. It looks good. Yeah, it looks like it's, a... it's it's not, it's it's not. Uh, let's see. They said it's a console exclusive. Yeah. Con- at the end, yeah. they say console exclusive for a limited time, also available on PC. So. Oh yes. yeah. And so that's another thing that I'm uh-huh. eventually like, it will be a bit cheaper. So. Yeah, so maybe we can get it when there's a discount or something, if, if you can't get it for free. But yeah, that's the thing, actually, that I was going to mention. Uh, a lot of these games as well, um, not only are they PS4 games, but uh, there are quite a few of them that are also coming on onto PC as well. So, um, I mean, console they are console exclusive, but um, they're also coming onto PC. So not fully exclusive to PS5, but I think they got a good mix. There are some games there that are only PS5, but just thought I'd point that out because um, I was going to... It'll probably relate to our next discussion with Xbox and their Microsoft stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll get onto that after. I don't want to drop too mu- uh, too many spoilers here, and you guys can hear that in our next conversation. So, next game, and uh, <laughs> probably <Yeah>. my uh, <laughs> least least favorite. I'm not even gonna lie, like the least favorite of this entire of yeah. this entire um, showcase. Uh, Goodbye Vol- Volcano High. No idea what this is on about. Um, <laughs> I, d- I don't know. So it's like got Jurassic animals. Uh, I think I read a little overview on Twitter from the developers, and they were saying this is like the life of, uh, uh, like they're gonna follow the life of these teenager creatures, and it's gonna be like just before a meteorite hits. I think it's kind of like alluding to you know retelling the, of the, the meteorite. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Retelling of that, or like putting their own spin on it, but. Uh, yeah, not for, no, okay. not for me, not yeah. for me, not for me. The co-op, uh, co-op, co-op are going to have to, oh, sorry, they, I think the company studio is called Co-op, but yeah, they're going to have to do some uh, serious uh, extra marketing to sell that game to me, and maybe a, maybe a bit of money is well in my pocket, so I don't know. But either way, can't really say too much on that game. I wasn't it's too definitely, impressed, but... <laughs> yeah, it's definitely got an audience. It's got its audience. I think it has. Yeah, I think it's got its uh, audience. Maybe, uh, maybe the two or three people. But um, no, I'm joking. No, but for real, it's uh, definitely not for me. Yeah, I mean the Deviant Art guys. Um, <laughs> no, Deviant already all over this one. I don't even. I'm yeah. scared to even type in Deviant Art or type in the name of this game on Deviant Art. So, yeah. But anyway, as I said, it, it has its fans. I mean, I don't know. To make of it what you will. Anyway, um, so after Volcano High, we have ah, we have Oddworld, Oddworld Soulstorm. Now, Oddworld is again not a game, not a franchise I'm too familiar with, but I know it has its cult following. Um, there was like Abe's Odyssey, uh, I believe back on the was it back on the PS One? Yeah, PS One, yeah. So it has its following. I know, it's, I know, it's the Oddworld series is quite um, well received by fans. So yeah, I, it's kind of like a 
how would you describe this type of gameplay? I mean, it's quite unique, uh, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, um, from what I remember, it was, I remember the PS1 one was a platformer. Yeah. Yeah, platformer. I mean, it's got, yeah, it's got like platformer elements as well. It's kind of like a, yeah, like a platformer and you command a, command, um, well, from what I can see in this gameplay trailer, it's like you com- command a little army or, yeah, I guess it's more of a platformer, but it looks like, I, again, I've seen some feedback from fans and a lot of them are just saying oh it's pretty much everything that a uh, Abe uh, that um an odd world fan would want so yeah I think I think uh, I think Sony are on the right track with this one uh, odd world soul storm yeah but again not a franchise that I've played too much I think I'll probably check it out because I've heard such great things about it but uh <laughs> yeah I don't know what do you think how, how about you Dotaku star any experience uh, odd world series i played it back in the day on the ps1 remember when we, when we used to get the the demo discs yeah, oh yes that, oh um, yes yeah, yeah the ones you used to get in the magazine so i played yeah. the, the odd world the i think Abe odyssey then so um yeah like i at the time it was cool but um i just i'm not my nostalgia with that series isn't as deep as how it's not it is, but yeah. yeah so I, I imagine when you know people that are big fans of this game when they saw it they're like oh wow it's uh, it's a new Oddworld game, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's good that a game like this is still coming out in this day and age because there's platformers from ages ago that don't come out these days, so mm. Mm. it's good that the series is still, still around. Yeah, yeah. When we come on Sony, Sony please, throw us, throw us an ape escape or something. Yeah, that's what we all yeah. want, ape escape. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I, as, I, as, I did, as I said before, I don't have much experience, but I've definitely played one of the games, it's just that my memory it's just I, I honestly can't remember anything about it not not to say that it was bad but i just can't remember much because it was a very very long time ago ps1 day so i can't remember too much but again like i was saying it I'd probably give it a try if i um or when i pick up the ps5 i'll probably give it a try um but for now looks all right can't really say too much else uh so anyway moving on from uh moving on from odd world we have Ghostwire Tokyo. Now, this game has quite a long history. I know that they've, um, well, I believe they announced it quite a while back. Um, I can't remember the exact time, but they announced this game quite a while back and there was no gameplay or anything. But this one really took me by surprise because at first when I saw it, I was like, oh, uh, this is like, uh, I kind of thought it was going to be like some supernatural lights. Um, um, what's the word like? What, what, what game am I thinking of? Maybe like a Silent Hill or something. But when you see some gameplay, you see that it's like a first person, the first type person type experience, and yeah. it doesn't seem it doesn't seem to take itself too seriously, or it's not like a super horror game. But um, very very interesting. And as well, I'm trying to think about the music. Was it like a? Yes, yeah, so I'm just listening to the music as well now. It's like a um, like high octane type music. Not something I expect from like a horror game. But again, it's not really a pure horror game by the looks of it yeah what do you what do you think it's like an action like a it's fast like paced first person game. it's like a space <laughs> game but the japanese game um, mm, exactly think, uh, yeah yeah shinji mikami uh company's working on this the guy who made um what was that horror game that came out um that you liked a lot horror game uh, yeah uh, was it silent yeah. the no, it isn't. What was it called? Um, uh, they call it Psycho Break in Japan, but you call it, you call it, remember, there was two, um, um, Evil Within, Evil Within. Oh, Evil Win. Oh, right, right, really? So it was the same guy? Yeah, same Actually, guy. yes, I heard, I heard some, yeah, I heard it was a developer that worked on a huge game, but, um, yeah, it must be Evil Within. Yeah, no, I played, um, I played um, the first one and I watched a lot of footage of the second one. They're pretty good games, I think, solid horror experiences, but... It, they seem like different genres. I mean, of course, there was like supernatural and horror stuff in there, but this one, like I was saying, seems like more of a fast-paced one. But yeah. I mean, if, if it's the same guy working on it, then my expectations—I have a—I have a little bit more confidence in this one. But it looks quite interesting, honestly. I'd—I'd I'd definitely give it a try. Yeah, I, I definitely. You know, I like. I'm a big kind of Japanese culture or anything Japanese. So yeah. this is a. Uh, this is something um, I'm definitely looking forward to. And I think this game is going to be released a trailer recently where you can actually. 
Um, <laughs> extra points lover. there, extra points. Yeah, so now, so I'm a dog lover, Alright, oh, you're more of a dog guy. Oh, so that's why you were yeah. so against Stray. It's all nah, coming nah, together. Nah, I mean, it's all coming together. Back, yeah, back, back home, my dad got dogs and cats, but she's always more aligned with dogs. Ah. They actually listen to those cats <laughs> go and do their own thing. But yeah, nice. Uh, I mean, you got you got some good cats. They're they're, they're um. I have I've met. I've yet to see one. Uh, see no. one. Well, you give them enough food, and they'll do anything. So uh, <laughs> that's my that's my trick. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> the game, the game, like yeah, it looks good. I'm looking forward to it. Nice, nice. Yeah, same here, same here. I'll definitely give that one a try when it comes out. So uh, after Ghostwire, we have Jet the Far Shore teaser. Um. I can't remember too much about this game actually. I'm, so I'm getting to this point where I'm kind of like, I can't remember the games properly. So I'm like watching them now, watching them over as we speak about it. Um, let me see. So what was this one all about? Yeah, this one was a weird one. It was a very strange one, yeah. I'm trying to. It was like one of those. Um, I was. I was uh, with these games, I was too. Um, yeah, it's like one of those. Uh, art like games. Yeah. Yeah, it's got kind of like a like like, visual style. Yeah, it's, it's got a visual style, but I, 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 know, I just wasn't me personally. I just wasn't really interested in the game. Yeah. I think that's why why I'm kind of forgetting most of this one because it's, it kind of sums up my feelings on this one. Uh, yeah, it has like a dark, murky, so, uh, somewhat depressing <laughs> art style, in my opinion. It's just very, very grey, really dark colours. Don't really know too much of what's going out here, uh, going on here. Carve out a future for. I'm just reading some of the subtitles here. Carve out a future for the people. Uh, haunted by oblivion, propelled by dreams. Yeah, I think it's one of those artsy games, so I, I think I might have to avoid this one. I mean, I'll keep I'll keep track of of it. Of course, my opinions can always change on certain games over times. I mean, hey, look at look at Arms for Nintendo. That one. I had such terrible impressions of that at first, and now it's probably one of my favourite Switch games. So, yeah, but again, I wasn't feeling too much on this one. Same as same opinions as you. Um, but yeah, that's Jet the Far Shore. Yeah. Not too much else to add to that one. Oh, well, Holiday 2020, so it should be coming out this year if everything goes fine. All right, anyway, so moving on to the next game. After that, there was Godfall. Oh yes, Godfall. So this one was actually a highly anticipated game uh, made by, I believe, Ge- uh, Gearbox Studios. Uh, I think pretty much. No, they, I think they just handed the publisher. I think it's like a, there's someone else. Developing. Oh, publishing. Sorry, Gearbox was publishing it rather. Um, so Counterplay Games were the ones producing it, right? Yeah, looks like yeah. it. So um, yeah, this one I, I heard a lot of good things about what people were saying about this game. The art style looks pretty cool. But um, for me, that's kind of where it stopped. So it, the art styles, like the armor on the, the armor on the um, enemies, looks pretty. Get yeah, on the character, sorry, look pretty cool. Uh, but as soon as it switched to the gameplay, kind of, oh, yeah. I don't know, it kind of looked a bit generic to me. I mean, interesting environments, like you see alien, alien, uh, alien planet, and you're fighting like um, not only humanoid creatures, but like these weird dog type aliens or four legged uh, quadrupedal like enemies, but. Pretty much, it wasn't a, it wasn't a huge highlight for me. It's not one of those games that's like, oh, I have to get it straight away. But I don't know. Yeah, it kind of felt a bit generic to me. I wasn't this. I don't know. I just had higher hopes for it based on what I heard people saying or people talking about this game. It's like, oh, Godfall! It was the huge game. It was the huge game this this uh, coming out this year. Um, by the way, I should say another holiday 2020 release. Um, but apart from that, I can't really t- say too much else on this. Like, it was just all right. I don't, I don't know. I think I'll I'll wait for a price drop on this one, or maybe uh, I'll I'll um, be that one guy that uh, goes over to a friend's house just to play this game or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But either way, um, I don't know, Taku Star. You have anything else to add to this one? I can't really think of anything uh, else to say. Initially, about. Wait, I think this was like, one of the first PS5 games that showed. Oh yeah. Everyone. Yeah, so I think they were just showing like they showed like a visual of like the character's armor and it looked amazing. I was like, "Whoa, this is yeah, like, yeah, this is next gen graphics." Like I'm ready. This game looks, it looks sick. But um, yeah, after watching the trailer from the PS5 reveal, I was yeah, I was a bit underwhelmed. Yeah. 
Yeah. But you know, it could change. Like I haven't had my hands on the game, but you know, I like hack and slash games. So mm. um, yeah, with this one, I, I'm going to be very wary with it. So maybe wait for reviews. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Or price drop. But uh, yeah. Same here, like it was like the way people were talking about this at first, it was like this was this was next gen the game. But yeah, um, yeah. now I, I don't know, not so much, not so much. I'm gonna wait for that price drop of course, but not not much else to add to it there. Final thoughts. Uh, lukewarm reception. It gets a thumb thumb in the middle for me. Uh slightly slightly towards thumbs down, but it's uh it's it's, it's right in the middle for me. Yeah. Anyway, um looking on to the next game. Let me see where I am. Oh, yeah, so that was Godfall. So from the creators of Hyper Light Drifter, we have uh, Solar Ash. Now, this is actually another really unique art style, quite bright colours. It kind of has like a cell shaded uh, effect going for it. Um, interesting stuff. You see the main character like uh, surfing, just just kind of kind of bizarre, like the main character surfing on what looks like a... I, I don't even know where they are, like in a galaxy <laughs> or something. And then after there's like a huge deity and really like in terms of visuals this was probably i don't know 10 out of 10 in visuals for me it looked really good definitely, definitely. really interesting this is when, when people make like rt based games these are the kind mm. of rt based games that i like yeah because even though it's a, it's a very rt based game uh the gameplay looks solid like it, it seems it's not leaning more on the story side of things it's leaning more on the gameplay and the, the mechanics. Whereas the other game we saw, I can't remember what it was called. Um, it looked like it was there was too much story going. The game it didn't really show off anything, you know, anything new that we, you know. So um, yeah, so the so the Asher is definitely one one I'm looking forward to. Yeah, it looked it looked interesting. Um, but I have to admit, that in terms of in terms of actual gameplay of what we saw, it was it was like a, a good a good. Uh, a nice juicy five and a half seconds there. I think they yeah. just like ran forward and then like they they uh, they um ran forward and then they like you know the screen flipped and everything. And I have to admit it looked it looked pretty cool. The effects were pretty cool. But once again, as always, I want to see more gameplay. But as I said, yeah, in terms of art style, yeah, in terms of art style, top marks from me. Um, if you ever played hard for just like um. It's a really well crafted game, so it's, this is by the same developer. So yeah, yeah, you know. Hyper Light Drifters. Yeah, so this is definitely something to look forward to. I think. Yeah, if it's if it's um again, I haven't tried out tried out myself, but if it's um anything like what the fans have described in the game, like if it's as high quality as uh, Hyper Light Drifter, then we we should have something to look forward to in twenty twenty one. Anyway, um, so after Hyper Light Drifter, we have uh, let me see, let me see, where am I? Oh wait a second. Oh wait, did I? Oh yeah, sorry, no, it was uh, Hitman 3, sorry, I thought I missed the game then, but anyway, um, we have Hitman 3, I mean, uh, it's Hitman, yeah. uh, <laughs> I don't know what I've else just to never say. Been, I've never been a fan of the Hitman game. Oh, you're not a fan of that? But, yeah, so I'd imagine whoever, if the fans out there, you know, they're getting a new one, I think um, this is the first one since Square Enix, sort of, um, left like they don't only develop anymore i don't know if this is the first one since then but um yeah this you know hitman three um yeah <laughs> yeah I, I again i don't have too much else to say either i mean i played a little bit of um i have played previous hitman games the last one i played was like a uh, one on xbox one can i remember the title i absolutely can't i think it was like a, a free to play one um i can't remember the full name of it but it was a it was a solid game but again this gameplay trailer didn't really show anything new that you wouldn't usually expect from a normal hitman game so it didn't really didn't really jump out at me as like a must buy game or anything but Hitman games in the past, I think they've been pretty solid, but I just I don't know enough about this one. So, yeah, Hitman fans, I'm sure you guys will be happy about this, but for me, I'm gonna have to see a bit more. All right, so Hitman, I, ugh, I'm speed, I'm we're speeding through these games now, um, but again, like not too much to really add to a lot of these games, so understandable. Um, anyway, so after Hitman. I believe we had was it Astro's Playroom? Yeah. Astro's Playroom. Let me double check. Yeah, so Astro's Playroom, and this was actually a uh, PlayStation. Like, wasn't this a PlayStation VR, VR game? game. Yeah, for VR. for PS4. Yeah. So yeah. I know this was like a was it like a definitive edition version. Let me double check actually. 
I think this is actually the new game from the ground up. Because uh, really? no I don't think there's any VR um, usage of this. Ah, uh, right, yeah, I mean, they didn't, um, yeah, they didn't mention anything about VR this time around, so interesting i mean i have to admit like i'm oh yeah you're right it does look like a like a normal platformer this time i, I have to admit though i think most of the charm from the game was the fact that it was like a virtual reality experience yeah, exactly, and yeah, yeah just, i heard it yeah. seems generic now like, exactly yeah that's the thing I, thinking, I mean this is me personally but i was like uh platformer games with the characters that you know is a, has a bit more charm he's just like a robot there's nothing really special about for me from my own perspective there's nothing really special about him yeah yeah exactly and it kind of reminded me a lot of um of course the mario platformers um yeah. of course whenever there's a platformer mario is going to be mentioned um yeah. from me <laughs> but um though well, yeah you know mario that's kind of the golden standard you know after like odyssey yeah. and those uh really really well yeah, really well received games but yeah as he said the fact that it's not VR, it kind of takes a bit away from well, for me. It's not really like the VR part was its unique selling point. So I kind of feel like not that it can't work, but I feel like they're going to have to really bring something special to stand out from other platformers at this point, because again, VR was what made that game. So exactly. yeah, I don't know. But either way, decent game. I'll probably I might give it a try if it shows something. But for now, I probably that would be a day maybe a day three for me not day one not not day three of course but um yeah not a not a immediate purchase anyway so after astro's playroom we have uh, little devil inside and this one was a bit confusing for me it seems kind of like a well again i want to mention the graphics it was quite quite unique um it's kind of like a cel shaded art style i have to admit they're like so many really low poly, low poly art style. yeah low poly art style i mean not not in the negative way you can tell that they were like purposely going for that look but yeah. so there's just so many different art styles nowadays i can't even keep up but no it looks decent i think it looks interesting the art style um in terms of gameplay it was like a like an action adventure style gameplay yeah, um, yeah, like an action RPG. this was yeah. actually i'm gonna tell you this was actually the game with the, the whole uh what's it the whole uh uh what's it whole show for me actually uh, say that again it looks so this was the game with the show for me. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. This was the game. It just looked really unique. Like, yeah. Um, I don't know. I got like Zelda vibe from it. Weirdly. Tri- yeah, yeah. It does look like kind of like a Breath of the Wild type thing with the climbing and everything and exploring. Yeah. So I just, I just, I, yeah, I just really like the game. I'm definitely that's definitely a, a day one buy for me. Nice, nice. Comes out. Yeah, I thought it was definitely one of the more interesting games. It wasn't the number one, one uh, game for me, but it was an uh, interesting one. I liked how it like kept showing the old man's perspective and then this adventure. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know yeah. how it really how it really happened because at first I kind of thought it was like the old man when he was younger, but then I think isn't yeah. there a scene where they're like sitting together in the same room talking? So I don't know if the old man is like sending this guy out on missions. I I yeah. can't I can't really tell what's going on, but either way, in terms of like the actual environments that you explore like you said it reminded me a lot of zelda as well so interesting game one that i'm looking forward to as well and uh yeah good exploration and a solid um lineup title for ps5 i think it will attract a lot of people yeah, right, i guess on that ps4 so um yeah if, like, then you guys can't have, don't have the ps5 but then you can actually get in ps4 so. Mm, yeah, yeah, and maybe maybe they'd even steal over some Nintendo fans, some Nintendo Zelda fans as well. So you yeah, know, yeah. maybe if you're maybe if you're fully converted to Breath of the Wild and you you swear your elite, your pledge your allegiance to Zelda and you don't want to try any other any other um, exploration games, you know, maybe maybe Little Devil Inside will uh, will um, grab your attention. Who knows? Who knows? You can't knock it till you tried it. Yeah, yeah, it looks quite interesting. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> The next game in the lineup, we have um, NBA 2K21. Um, is that everything? All right. So next game, no, I'm joking. I don't want to. I don't want to. I mean, me personally, as you guys can already tell, I'm not that interested in like basketball games. I don't play that many sports games. I, I might play a bit of FIFA sometimes, but in terms of sports game, I'm not really a huge, huge guy. I mean, there was N- there was NBA 2K20. Now there's NBA 2K21, and of course there will be NBA 2K22. So I'd say they got um, they got an, 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 um, a pro athlete. They got the pro basketball player. Was it Zion Williamson? I hope I'm saying his name right. But um, I guess oh, sorry, is it Zion? Is it Zion Williamson? 
yeah. all right either way um again i don't know much about basketball anyway i'm sure the basketball fans will be happy to see him but once again it was just kind of like a cgi trailer showing the guy taking some shots uh into the hoop so we can't exactly see what new features they brought to nba and to be honest even if they did bring new features i probably couldn't talk about it anyway because i haven't played i don't think i've ever played an nba game before in my life like yeah, yeah. i think i played the closest i've worked to an nba game was like I think it was NBA Street or something like that. So yeah, oh, I've heard about it. Yeah, I've heard about it. Yeah. I haven't played it, but I've heard about that one. But um, no, I'm, I'm honestly, since they didn't show some, I just didn't show too much. I mean, I'm sure the fans will pick it up anyway, but I don't know if there were any anything that the developers have, have mentioned that's super different from the previous game. So yeah, I don't know. Game not for me, but who knows? NBA fans. If there's something about it that grabbed you and maybe not us, just, you know, let us know in the comments or so, or so on. But anyway, um, I definitely don't have anything else to add to that. So I'll just move on to the next game now. So after NBA, we had a very, very odd game. We have one called uh, Bug Snacks. Now, I believe, who's the developer for this one? I know it was like, um, oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Oh man, I should have wrote this down. I had it on the tip of my tongue. Uh, the developer they've they've uh, made they've done, uh, was it octodad was it octodad i think so it might be it was not yeah i think it was another uh, well-loved uh, indie title um okay, yeah octodad. all right right i know yeah i know it was it was okay. pretty sure it was another Bugs, 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 yeah yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, creators of Octodad. Yeah, it even says it on the sign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew it was one of the indie games, and it was like a well-loved indie game. So, yeah. But, um, no, no, you're right. It was Octodad. So, what can I even say about this game? Like, I am. I was confused from the beginning. I had a lot of questions in the beginning, and I had even more after the trailer finished. Like, it's just like a world where the the animals are like. Uh, food and it's, I don't know it kind of reminds me of like you know that game Spore when you could create your own creature and all that sort yeah, of stuff I, d- yeah. I don't know why but I was getting like some huge Spore vibes from this one so I don't know but um, I was going to say in this in this um, trade it doesn't show off too much about what you're doing uh, but I after looking at the Sony state of play I think they revealed a bit more so you're going to be like a, playing as a journalist and you have to uh, investigate there's like some case you have to investigate um to do with some uh, i think it's like some dodgy company doing stuff dodgy stuff i'm sorry guys my explanation isn't the best but it was a very very odd game and a very odd story they haven't revealed too much about it but i don't know i i can't say i'm gonna pick this one up from what i've seen yeah. so far <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, but I was gonna say right at the end of the trailer, they had that creature that like came out of the bush. That that was that hybrid food monster creature. So I don't know. Maybe we're gonna have elements of uh, minor horror elements in there. I I don't know. Either way, I think they're gonna have to do a lot more to uh, <laughs> to convince me. But anyway, uh, after bug snacks, we have oh okay, we have a big one coming up. So next up, we have a Demon Souls remake. So I know there'll be a lot of fans here. Uh, Demon Souls or the Demons franchise in general is just very, very popular with, fran- with fans. But um, right from the beginning of the trailer, when it shows off all the different environments and then you have that creature carrying the, the dead guy, you, you kind of, you got that Demon Soul vibe right from the beginning. Um, again, I haven't played the original one, so I can't compare it, but it, honestly, it looks fantastic from what I've seen so far. Uh, just the huge this creatures. This is an exclusive as well, right? I don't know if it's is it is it an exclusive or is it a timed exclusive? Because I know that I think I think it's an exclusive. Is it an exclusive? You might be right. You might be right. I know a lot of these games as well. They say oh it's like an exclusive and then and then after it comes out like it or oh, sorry it's like a launch exclusive and then it like comes out after for the console like a year later or something. So I'm not too sure, but it might might be exclusive. I'm pretty didn't the, I'm pretty sure the other Demon games were on Xbox, weren't they? Yeah, but I think this yeah. one. Uh... This one was, I think this one was a Sony exclusive. Ah, right. It's Sony pumping that money for them to develop yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I ah, think right. so. That makes sense. It's kind of like a Spider-Man case. But yeah. either way, it was, it was mostly CGI stuff. But um, I guess I know the fans know what the fans already know what to expect with the Demon Souls game. But 
I can imagine yeah, this is good. It's actually, it's actually yeah, it's an exclusive. It says, uh, it says the game's a first party project from Sony. Uh, so yeah. Ah, right, right, yeah. So, um, unfortunate Xbox fans, um, will have to <laughs> have, a, have a moment of silence for the game, another game that we've uh, potentially missed out on. I mean, to be honest, I'm probably going to pick up a PS5 as well. I'm probably going to pick up both consoles this generation, so I can uh, pretty much critique them. But anyway, no, this is a huge game that Sony definitely wants. So that's a, another thing that Sony are doing right. They're picking up the big games, so yeah. you can't fault them with that. But again, uh, the trailer looked pretty good. Nice CGI there. Did uh, did, of course, want to see some, uh, just a little bit of gameplay. That would have been nice. But either way, we kind of know what to expect with Demon's Souls games. <laughs> Anyway, um, so the next game is uh, Deathloop. Actually, I can't remember anything about Deathloop. Um, oh, yes, actually, no. So this was the one... Was it like the first person? Yes, it was like the first person shooter. This one was actually quite interesting, from what I remember. Um, as the name suggests, you like die, you keep on dying and then it restarts the day over and over again. Um, I believe this is like a Bethesda game as well. So I know there are a lot of... Well, I was going to say a lot of Bethesda Bethesda fans out of there. I know they're kind of 50 50 at the moment with a lot of their games, but uh, it looks quite interesting, I think, for this one. Um, yeah, interesting art style as well. Nothing as unique as the previous games that we've seen, but uh, yeah, the guy just starts his day over and over again. And uh, I think it's a woman, is it? Is it? Is it? Because in, in the CGI part, when the, um, when the person's getting up, it's like a, it's like a guy. Um, Okay. Oh, I think it might be well, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still late. I'm still like. I think yeah, you might, you might be a dude. Yeah, I think it's a guy for this one, but. I mean, it's first person, so you never see their face anyway. So, so it doesn't really matter. But either way, um. Yeah, it's interesting. It's you know, what? it kind of reminded me a lot of like Bioshock, like a Bioshock type game. Yeah, like, yeah that's what I was getting yeah. from it as well. Because you have like the plasmid abilities and stuff, and it looks like you've got like some special abilities here. Yeah. Um, of course, and you use weapons as well, so kind of like Bioshock. But yeah, actually, I was gonna say there was there was a woman who was like one of the main villains, or she's like a sniper yeah, yeah. of it. So yeah, but um, this one interested me a bit. I think it was mostly because it looked like, looked like Bioshock, and uh, yeah, quite interesting, quite interesting from what I can see. Yeah. Oh, and of course, they actually did show some gameplay. So again. Whenever games show gameplay, automatically they get extra points from me because <laughs> that is what a lot of these trailers are severely lacking. Or well, gameplay is probably pretty much m mostly the thing that I care about, and I'm pretty sure most gamers can agree with me in that point. But either way, um, do you have anything else to add to Deathloop? Or yeah, I think it was alright. Uh, mm. um, yeah, just uh, interesting art style and gameplay. Yeah, it's definitely worth picking up. You know me, I'm first person shooters. You don't yeah, see. you're not a first, you're not a FPS guy. And yeah. I have to admit, I'm, I'm it, not like a the next game I'm going to be talking about. You know, I'm not really happy yeah, about yeah. Yeah. what they're doing with the series. Wait, which which game? The next game. Oh, oh, the next game. Really? Oh, no. Because I oh, was yeah. going to, I was just about to say, this is my highlight of the show, personally. Um, after Death Loop, we have Village, and yeah, not Resident Evil. We just have it's called Village. Uh, well, it's called Village Resident Evil, but kind of strange that they've just gone with Village as the main title for it. But either way, I guess Resident Evil is in there. So actually, I really like the trailer so far. Like, it was kind of at first I was a bit confused. It was just showing all the environments. Um, it kind of did feel a bit like Resident Evil Seven, but if you look closely, you can um you can quickly see the umbrella logo flash up so at that point i was like oh yeah yeah definitely resident evil definitely resident evil but i don't know i really i really like this like i really did enjoy resident evil 7 uh again as taku star mentioned is not uh, not not too happy with what happens what, what's um, been happening with the series recently but if it's anything like 7 for me i'm probably gonna enjoy it because it seems like it's a lot more story based uh, first person shooter once again, but I personally just really like the village, the village vibes, and it kind of reminded me a bit of uh, like in terms of setting, like Resident Evil Four, uh, with the crazy yeah, villages yeah, and everything like that. Definitely, yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. And so like a mixture between Resident Evil Four and Resident Evil Seven. So Seven, yeah. if it's anything like that, I mean, actually, I might have to hand in my gamer card now. But I haven't actually played through Resident Evil Four, but I know about the settings of Resident Evil Four and everything. So yeah, but again, if it plays anything like uh, Resident Evil Seven and Four, if it's like a mixture between the two, then I definitely love this one. 
Um, I don't even know if I need to ask, but Taku Star, do you have any thoughts on this on this game? Uh, it looks good. <laughs> it, looks yeah. it looks amazing. Like, don't, even though I don't like first-person shooters, that, and obviously I'm quite disappointed with the with the, the route that the uh, that the series is taking. Um, the game looks amazing. It reminds me of number four so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just with the series, I feel like I've always liked the characters. So it's like, if I'm playing the game, I want to see the character. I want to see a third. Like, now you've got, like, buff Chris. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's true. He made, his, he, made his, um, he made his appearance at the end, didn't he, as well, Chris? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like, um, yeah. I, I, you can't see these characters anymore. Now it's like a... Uh, a first person game and it, I don't know that's just me I mean I, mm. I will try it because I didn't really play I never played 7 oh yeah and with, you, with me you know I'm a bit ugh, like I, I hate change yeah. things like what with, especially with like um, series like that have been around for ages I really hate when they like like depart yeah. from what they previously were so Such maybe I'll change, give yeah. A yeah I'll give this one a chance and the only problem is Capcom is still doing re-releases of like the old games in the mm. style of you know Resident Evil, and so it's like, oh, why can't we go back to that style with the new games? But clearly, it obviously the, the they're getting more sales with the first person gameplay, and um, yeah, and it's it's weird as well for me because um, it seems Resident Evil is going more like in the supernatural like like it's more supernatural elements in the new games, and it's not more about zombies and stuff like that now. Yeah, they um. Yeah, they are adding some. It's taking quite a strange turn, hasn't it? Like with the Baker family. I mean, I know it's still supposed to be like the. Um, uh, was it like the T virus that infected the Baker family in, in Seven? I know it's still supposed to be like that, and that's kind of like zombie stuff. But yeah, you're right. It's kind of a bit different from the normal zombies, and like the zombies have like. I don't know. Like, like you said, kind of, they kind of look like aliens at one point now. So yeah. kind of a huge change. But. Seven was really well received. Um, I enjoyed. I yeah, yeah, enjoyed I it quite it a bit. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. listen to me, guys. Like, I'm just uh, <laughs> nah. the old dude, but, uh, nah. yeah. it's, under- it's I mean, it's understandable. It's like an established uh, gameplay style, and they've gone and they like completely changed it with Seven. So I can yeah. under I can understand your um, I can understand your concerns. And even like Chris Redfield, I know, of course, is like a classic character, uh, the Boulder Puncher himself. But um, he looks kind of strange this time around. Like in at the end of Seven. I didn't even recognize. It. Well, uh, uh, spoiler alert, guys, for yeah, an old I, I game, see, I guess. I, I, I still, by the way, I still watch like the cutscenes and stuff. Just to keep the I like the look. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I understand as well. Like just keeping up with the story and everything. But yeah, no, Chris. Like at the end of Resident Evil um, Seven, Chris just looked so different. I didn't even know it was Chris. Like, yeah, yeah, it was just really strange. But he seems to he seems to look slightly different yet again in this trailer. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, as long as the story's decent, I, I don't know. I'm not like a diehard. I think you're definitely a bigger Resident Evil fan than me. Um, I've, uh, for a quick background, I've played like I played the first one. Um, I've played five, and I've played seven. So yeah, I, I have some huge. Revelations is cool, right? Oh yes, Revelations, of course. Yeah, I played Revelations two and a little bit of the first one. But yeah, no, I have a lot, of, a lot of gaps in my uh, Resident Evil, uh, in my Resident Evil games, but. I've enjoyed what I've played, so yeah. But as I was saying, this is definitely this was the game of the show for me. Um, I heard there's going to be werewolves in this one, so that's going to be quite. Yes, a yes, werewolves as well from um, uh, quite um, quite um, a trustable source, or someone mentioned that who's been quite uh, who's been right on a lot of uh, other things in the past. Yeah, so werewolves. He, he said werewolves before the game was even revealed, and as far as I'm aware, there haven't been any werewolves in the previous game. So yeah. Yeah, interesting stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. Uh, interested to see what Capcom will do with this game, or w- what direction they'll take it after, in terms of like the story and everything. But, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I like that quite a bit. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next game, and one that I honestly cannot remember. Oh yeah, actually no, of course I can remember. Death Stranding Two. We have uh, huh? Death Stranding Two. Death Stranding, exactly. Death Stranding Two, guys. We- we have Death Stranding 2, Kojima teamed up with Capcom. No, I'm, I'm kidding, guys. We're kidding. Um, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, um, we wouldn't be angry at you if you did mistake this for a Kojima game because it looked like it had Kojima written all over it. You, you, yeah. <laughs> I thought it like same here. Like 
I also kind of thought I was like, oh, this game is so bizarre. It has to be a Kojima game. Yeah. Um, but no, no I, it, I knew like. Uh, sorry, I was like, oh, this game. Maybe it's not a Kojima game, but it's definitely a Japanese game. I was like, it's definitely a yeah. Japanese game. Yeah. yeah. yeah it, there's no way, no Western developers uh, are <laughs> going to make a game like, like a trailer like this. Like, yeah, no, we're definitely not going to see anything like this out of a Western developer. Yeah. Um, but no, it, um, this isn't actually a Kojima game, guys, believe it or not. This is actually uh, Prag Pragmata. Well, am I saying that right? Is it Pragmata or Pragmata? Yeah, Pragmata. 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 Yeah. Either way, um, this is actually a Capcom developed game, which I was very surprised. Um, but yeah, as you see, the spaceman in a spacesuit walking around a, a desolate city. It looks like a New York that's, I don't know what's happened. It's been abandoned. And of course, there's like this little girl and a hologram cat and. I think if you're not watching the gameplay alongside me explaining this, you probably think I belong in the insane asylum. But I'm telling the truth, guys. It's like a cat, a spaceman. There's like a huge creature, and then of course, like gravity, gravity shifts. Actually, at this point as well, when the guy started using the spacesuit thing, I was kind of thinking, is this like a, a dead space uh, type game as well? Because it looks kind of similar with uh, or similar to Isaac Clarke's um, armor in the in some of the newer Dead Space games. But of course. Uh, nothing to do with Dead Space and uh, just a brand new series in general. But yeah, again, interesting gameplay uh, CGI trailer, as, as we were saying before. Seemed like it had Kojima written all over it. Didn't know what was going on at first, but interesting, interesting is what I can say. I want to see some gameplay, of course. I need to see gameplay before I can make a proper decision, but I don't know. I don't even know what to think of this game. What, what do you think, Taku Star? Uh, it looks interesting. Mm. Uh, uh, if it'll come out, that's another story because um, Capcom had a game called uh, Deep Down. Oh, oh like, yes, of course, that was the underwater one, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, like the uh, Metroidvania. No, was that... it was like a, oh, it was like a, what was it? It was like a hack and slash dungeon. Oh, okay. Game, okay. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the other Capcom one. Yeah, like it was a. Uh, I'll send it to you, but it was like a. Oh. Uh, it was a, yeah, it was just a, like a dungeon crawler, but you, um, yeah, they, they let this, they, this was like an early PS4 game they showed, and oh, it right. never came out, seven years ago, yeah. Oh, okay. It never came out, it never came out, so it was just like in development here. So, right. Um, I don't know if this game will come out, so, um, yeah, I mean, it looks cool, obviously, uh -huh. obviously, you know, anything, anything about it, but yeah, it looks, looks cool, weird, Japanese, I like weird and Japanese, so. Oh, yeah. right. Actually, I, mean, I might have to check that out in a second. But um, actually, the one that I was thinking of is called uh, Shin Sekai Into the Depths. And that was a Capcom developed one. When you when you said like deep, I thought, oh, depths. And But well, that was the like the Metroidvania one that um, Capcom came out with. They're publishing a lot of um, a lot of dodgy games. Oh, not dodgy, sorry. Not, not dodgy, but a lot of um, <laughs> different genres of games. Sort of like ones yeah, that I wouldn't yeah. expect to. Um, I think because they've had like a really, they've actually really had a good run this generation like with the with how good um monster hunter's been and it's sort of like the resurgence of um the resident evil franchise and obviously um yeah um they've not had to be so I, I think now they're able to like try and make new ip and stuff like that so yeah and, and obviously uh venture into other um other games territories or, yeah and other genres and stuff yeah they're taking a lot of um i was gonna say risks but no, they're just exploring a lot of genres, I guess. Oh, actually, I'm just looking at the deep down gameplay. Jesus, this is March 2013. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and this never came out. This never came out. So just look at the amount of money they spent on all. Yeah. Release. Yeah, no, that trailer, that trailer does not look cheap at all. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm just uh, sorry, guys. I'm just watching the trailer as we as we speak. We've got, we've got like, what is this? Uh, Yoshinir, uh, 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 what's his name? Um, yeah. Ono. Oh, no, Ono was. Yeah. He was, he was heading. I think he was heading like development for it. Uh, yeah, right. The funny thing is, he just um, he announced his retirement. So. Yeah, I heard about that as well. Actually, that's um, yeah, his um, retirement from um, the fighting game <laughs> division in Street Fighter. Actually, funnily enough, about that one, there was a rumor going around from um, an insider. Uh, quite a credible insider, but he was saying that uh, Street Fighter Five. Apparently, they had like, um, oh sorry, Street Fighter Six. Um, they had an early test for Street Fighter Six, 
And apparently they had like focus testing and stuff like that. And um, Ono was the head of um, Street Fighter Six's development. There was like a, a team mechanic. Um, there was a team mechanic that he implemented in the game. But um, a lot of the critics or, or the um, development team, alongside the focus testers, had really negative, negative, yeah, really negative reception. And from what they were, he was saying, Ono got demoted then. So I think like, and and he just announced his retirement um, uh, uh, shortly. A short while ago so i'm thinking that kind of makes sense i mean at first it was just a rumor but it's it sounds like it's uh, a lot more realistic well, than the correlation yeah yeah exactly yeah and that was like that rumor was going around like only like i think it was two or so weeks ago but yeah. um yeah they said he was demoted as a result of that but um honestly um nothing but respect for ono to be honest he he was the one who kind of convinced yeah, capcom to release yeah. Yeah, or to yeah, exactly to to revive the Street Fighter series. He he was the one who convinced them to like um, get Street Fighter Four back on the map. And honestly, I'm I'm a huge. If anyone's well, you guys know my channel. I I cover a lot of fighting games, and even Ed Boon, like the uh, developer of Mortal Kombat or co-developer of Mortal Kombat, he was saying about how Mortal Kombat definitely wouldn't have been revived if it wasn't for Ono and Street Fighter Four. So I think we owe a lot to. Um, to Ono and his like, revival of the series, I think it just um, sparked a lot for the fighting game, um, like fighting games in general, a huge resurgence of fighting games. So, um, yeah, respect to Ono there. Um, anyway, oh, where am I? Jeez, I completely lost track of the game. So, so we just finished. Um, uh, so we'll, I think we were, uh, it was yeah, Pragmata. So oh yeah, so Pragmata, yeah, yeah Pragmata, yeah. and um, actually, let me just get the timestamp up. Yeah, so the next game was Horizon 2. Um, let me see. Let me just let me just get back to the timestamp because I, I completely forgot to pause it. And uh, yeah, so anyway, Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Uh, this is this was actually Sony's uh, final game. I wait, is it? Yeah, this was their final game. So it was Horizon 2, uh, Forbidden West, and Sony ended things with another heavy hitter here. Um, mm -hmm. The first Horizon, to be honest. I didn't really. I, I kind of feel bad because it was it was a huge success the first Horizon, but a lot of people didn't pay attention to it because I think it came out the exact same week as Breath of the Wild, yeah, and uh, yeah. that's that's definitely not good for any game, especially not a game that's uh, within a very similar genre. I heard a lot of people saying that oh, when they when they were playing Horizon, they tried like they they just got off playing Breath of the Wild and then they played Horizon Zero, Do Zero Dawn and they were trying to climb mountains and it just wasn't happening so they switched back over to uh, Breath of the Wild again but either way I heard uh, really positive things about Horizon and uh, this trailer looks pretty good as well it, it shows that uh, there was like the underwater segment it looks it looked fantastic honestly like again it was a CG trailer but it looked pretty good um, it's just it looks like um, this game will be a lot more open world. I mean, the last one was, from what I heard, it was kind of an open world game as well. But it was, especially when you compared it to Breath of the Wild, it was quite restrictive. So uh, it looks like they're going with the like the Breath of the Wild um, uh, direction, I guess, because you get scenes where she's like underwater and so on. But either way, a heavy hitter. This is definitely one of those games that I look at and think, oh, I have to buy a PS5 just for this game. Like I. Yeah, and even the desert environment in the end, it just shows that there's a lot of uh, different environments that you'll be exploring. And again, and the climbing as well. Sorry, I'm watching this as I'm talking, but it's just even climbing the mountains and stuff. It looks like they took the Breath of the Wild direction. But yeah, what do you, what do you think, Taku? Oh, yeah, the game looks amazing. I played the first one. I didn't right. finish it, but um, what I played, I had a lot of fun. So, um... Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking looking forward to. As you know, what, I'm actually gonna go back and play the first one for the yeah. releases. Nice. This isn't coming out this year, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, I. Yeah, I don't think it is. So, yeah. So I'm guessing. We, oh, another thing they they announced later on after they revealed this was the PS5 backward compatibility. So you can actually play the first one on the PS5. Yeah. Uh, so um, yeah, that's that's something I I definitely need to get back to. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. This one comes out. Yeah, yeah. That I think, as I was saying, I think a lot of people had very similar. Sorry, a lot of people um, didn't quite finish the first one as well, just because of Breath of the Wild being released the, the same yeah. week. Yeah, same week. So, 
again, I know I'm, I've mentioned Breath of the Wild quite a few times, but honestly, that's just not not good for a game to a game so it's similar to genre to come out at the same time. Yeah, so yeah. that was unfortunate. But again, it was still a quite successful game from what I heard. So that's good. And again, this is another heavy hitter from PlayStation. This is one of those games that are, you know, Sony they know it will push it will push console sales. I guess so. Good a good game to end it on. Um, so, no. Is that a mobile? Jeez. Yeah, there's um, a motorbike, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, um, no, a really, really heavy hitter for them to end it on. And, um, round, it rounded out quite a solid, solid game lineup, in my opinion. Um, actually, after Horizon, Horizon 2, no more games, but they also revealed the, uh, just the hardware. So, uh, Sony revealed that there were going to be two versions of the PS5. There's the, uh, digital, well, actually, should I? No, they didn't, they didn't reveal, no, no, no pricing, of course. Um, trying to get yeah, the exact no timestamp, no price in there. But Sony revealed the fact that there will be two different consoles. So there's going to be an all digital one, and then there's going to be uh, one that will allow you to play uh, games like normal games, like like the current consoles and stuff. That design. So, uh, what do you, Taku, just start? Do you want to do you want to start out your thoughts on this design? It looked like my wireless. My, uh, my Wi-Fi router. Yeah, yeah, the, the Sony yeah. router. Yeah. The Sony yeah, router. Like, it, looks, like, uh, it looks, the design looks slick. I like the white and I like the colour coding. Mm. Really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 I mean, I, I never really care about the design of boxes. I just care whether the box is functional or not. So yeah. let's just hope, let's just hope uh, day one these consoles are working perfectly for yeah. you. Yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, there's always a lot of problems when these things arrive. So that's all I care about the functionality, but not really the um, design and stuff. Yeah, very true, very true. I'm looking for the, I'm looking for the, yeah. I, I don't want yellow lights of doom or red rings yeah. of death or red anything on the console. Yeah. yeah. But um, in terms of the design, like I, I actually think I don't think it's too bad. Like it looks futuristic. It really does stand out from the previous uh, PlayStations. Like. Um, I know the PS1 was grey, but after the PS1, like bet- between the PS2 and PS4, it kind of was like, was like the standard design was always like black, wasn't it? Like, yeah, yeah they were just like standard dark uh, black consoles. But I think if you have this this console um, in a room of like a ton of other consoles, I think this one will like stand out immediately. Like, it looks a lot different and quite futuristic. So uh, it's not, I don't think it looks amazing, but I think it looks pretty decent but again like you were saying for me personally i think i'll be looking at the controller a lot more than the actual console itself so um oh and that's another big thing actually i have to mention the fact that the controller is a lot different to the normal um sony dual stock shock yeah. controllers yeah it looks really it looks really like futuristic clean mm. it looks like a like they dressed up the playstation like the playstation yeah. controller in their spaces <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> I've um, I've actually I've heard I've heard spacesuits. One of the things that I've heard a lot as well. I've, I've been hearing people, and I I um, I'm scared of saying it because I don't know if you can unsee it, but I've heard people calling this the uh, PS5 brass strap controller. And you know the little uh, <laughs> the, the 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 two um, you know the little blue lights coming out the the side part. It's like yeah, uh, yeah. it's like uh, yeah yeah I don't know. Like I've heard people mentioning, and and of course the uh, the um. The, the, the sticks as well it's kind of all lines up there for the playstation bra controller so uh I don't, I, I don't know i mean it looks okay personally i don't i don't know maybe it's just i'm used to the previous ones but i, I kind of prefer the design of the old ones um even things like the buttons being different colors on the old ones as well like i don't know just just my own personal preference but it's not horrible it, it definitely looks comfortable it's more rounded, yeah. isn't it, than the um, other? Yeah, it's more smooth, more smooth. Yeah, smooth and rounded. Yeah, so it looks like it'd be more comfortable. But in terms of look, at, I, d- I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll have to. It'll have to grow on me. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think after that, it was just um, a roundup. It just showed like a trailer of all the games that were uh, coming out after that. Like, oh, sorry, a, a lineup of the games that they showed um, on the like. The previous lineup, like Horizon, Little Big Planet, and so on, and uh, yeah, that pretty much ended ended it off. Um, unfortunately, no reveal of the pricing. Pretty much the thing that most most of us were waiting for. But um, I mean, in my opinion, I thought it was a solid um, it was a solid showcase. Like 
one of the things that you've probably heard me I, I sounded like a a broken record throughout our discussion was the fact that we saw a ton of cgi trailers but the gameplay i just needed more gameplay i think i mean cgi trailers they might look amazing now but i, I you know what am i actually going to be playing i want to actually see the game but apart from that apart from that i think um i think sony brought a lot of heavy hitters they bought franchises that fans are expecting you know the, the ratchet and clank the a little big planet horizon zero dawn they bought the big franchise oh and spider-man of course the very first one um <laughs> yeah yeah the time is going up but um yeah just to round it up just to round this off quickly um we're nearly finished but yeah i was just gonna say if i had to rate this one i'd probably give it maybe an 8.5 it was a solid showcase and um yeah, they really went over games that are, that um, that fans, I'm sure, would be excited for, and they had introduced quite a lot of solid new games as well. So, I don't know. What are your final thoughts on this uh, showcase? Uh, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. I liked um, the new stuff they showed for the PS5. Mm. There were some, um, you know, some unexpected hitters that were they shown. Uh, only thing, I'd give it like a seven point five, just because. Seven point five. Right. I I was expecting a lot more um, Japanese games. Mm. Someone who plays, I play a lot of JRPGs and stuff, so yeah. that was uh, something that was missing. So, um, yeah, no, but what they showed was amazing. So, um, they, I just hope they, um, they show in the coming months there's more JRPGs being shown. So, yeah, 7.5 is what I'd, I'd go for. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, guys, uh, that about rounds it up. I mean, there were a ton of games to cover there. I tried. We tried our best to explore them in detail, but of course we did uh, skim through because there were just too many to get through. Um, yeah. Yeah, overall solid. Uh, it's just nice to be to be on here as well, by the way. So. All right. Yeah. No. Nice. Yeah. Know. No. It was nice. Nice to have you. Nice to have someone else discussing it for once instead of me just uh, complaining. This probably would have just been a, a one-hour rant video if I was on my own here. <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, Taku Star, is there anywhere that anyone can find you or uh, so, any Twitter? Um, or... I'm, I'm still. That's still in the process. So um, yeah. yeah if, as we keep making more of these videos, if you guys leave the comments and stuff so we know what kind of content you guys want from us going forward. Yeah. Because uh, we, I'd imagine we would sort of want to change how the channel is going to be going forward. So um, if the guys, if the uh, subscribers have anything they'd like us to do in, in the future, that'd be uh, pretty much welcome. And obviously, um, once we've got like a solid basis and then uh, I'll start creating my Instagram, Twitter and all that stuff. And then, yeah, we yeah. get me involved with, uh, with the guys. But any yeah any any podcast discussions as well. But feel free to um, let us know what you guys think. But yeah, also as well, just uh, let you let us know. Like, do you think our opinions were completely wrong? Do you do you think this was a terrible showcase, or maybe you thought it was a perfect ten out of ten? I don't know. Just let us know in the comments. And uh, until then, thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>